Hi and welcome to Natural Aesthetics. It's a very short video showcasing some squats from today's session, day three of week four from round two of Mad Cow. And today I worked up to a heavy set of 355 kilos, no belt, um, and that's about 2.5% heavier than the set of five that I do on the prior Monday. And following Monday, I have to do that same weight again, but for five reps instead of three. And that's, as I mentioned before, the real catalyst for progression with the Mad Cow routine. I then follow that up with a set of eight, 112.5 kilos, all paused. And really for me, the Friday session is quite difficult. Um, there's a lot of carryover of fatigue from the Wednesday session. A little bit of doms in my back and glutes and hamstrings. Because you know, you don't really start the session feeling that fresh. I'm really determined to push the program as far as I can before I take that deload. So I feel confident I could do probably another two to three um, weeks before I reset. And I will do the program at least one more time. So these pictures really just showcase the difference between uh, low body fat and high body fat, the, the difference that it makes to a physique. You know, I'm carrying more muscle mass now, or let's say at the very least the same amount of muscle mass than I was in 2015 and 2017. But my physique looks way less impressive, and that's down to body fat. At some point, if you're a natural and you're training to look good and you're training to look muscular and get that wow factor, then you have to lower your body fat. You have to lower it below, say, 12 13%, even better if it's single digits. There's a lot less potential to look good as a natural with higher body fat percentages. You just don't have that kind of bulk to stand out. Um, of course, you have to build the muscle first. So I would advocate if you're starting out training two to three years, at the very least, without concerning yourself about dieting. Just to finish up the video, we've got some arm training. The Friday session um, is a little bit more varied in terms of what I do for my arms. So today I did some overhead extensions with the barbell and some strict curls with the uh, same weight. I'd say the main point for arm training is, is to really train it harder and, and more frequent than any other body part. I think sometimes people slack on arms and it really shows in terms of their physique. It's a very visually striking body part. So you need to train it with a lot of vigor and a lot of attention to detail, forearms, biceps and triceps multiple times per week, unless you have fantastic arm genetics. I think another point is as well, don't be scared of using slight momentum, uh, loose form to increase the intensity of an exercise. I'll say that again. Don't be scared of using looser form to increase the intensity of an exercise, to take the set further than you would do normally, to do more reps than you would otherwise do with strict form. You're not using looser form to make the set easier or to cut corners to avoid pain. You're doing it to help you. So bear that in mind. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, click on the notification button to be made aware of any videos I upload automatically. Stay strong.